So subtitles can be seen as one of the most important things in a YouTube video or even YouTube shorts or TikToks. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own subtitles for absolutely and 100% free. And I'm going to have a bunch of free presets in the description. So check out the first link. Those are going to be 100% free. So make sure to go check that out. With that being said, if you guys do enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see you guys on my PC. All right, guys. So I am inside DaVinci Resolve now. This is going to be the editing software that we use for this video. 100% free. The download will be in the description. With that being said, I'm going to go into new project and we're just going to title it subtitle tutorial december something along the lines of that can be absolutely anything obviously it will be the project that you're adding subtitles to in your own video we're gonna go to the edit tab we're gonna go up here to file we're gonna go project settings change our project settings to 60 fps on a 1920 by 1080 timeline press save to save our changes and from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload some random intro or whatever we are actually adding subtitles to and then we're gonna drag that in the timeline and now lastly and this is actually an outro that i did for a video that you probably have seen on the channel by now and that's how to actually start a youtube channel in 2023 so i'm just gonna quickly be showing you guys how you can subtitle this so we got our clips right here and you can do two different types of subtitles you can do word by word or you can do sentence by sentence if you do word by word it's gonna take a bit more work you're gonna have to go through the footage and you're gonna have to literally add a marker to every single word so this would look something like this and now, now, uh, something like that it's gonna say and now <laughs> lastly i'm gonna you know just add markers to the beginning of every single word and then we would add our subtitles i'm gonna show this example using individual words but obviously if you were doing a sentence you would add markers at the beginning of each sentence that you want to do and then for the subtitle you type out the entire sentence for the entire duration but like i said we're gonna be doing individual words for this one i'm gonna be doing four different segments for this being one two three four so I'm and, now, and that's actually be and now lastly I'm gonna so five segments actually so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to the effects library down to titles just drag in a basic text node we can see this looks super super bland so let me recommend to you guys three different fonts that you should be using either cool Vetica Mont or luckiest guy those three are insane for subtitles and I highly recommend it and I'll be quickly showing you guys all three so cool Vetica looks like this let me quickly move this down a bit so you can see on my chest that's what cool Vetica looks like Luckiest guy is a bit more informal. It looks something like that. And then Mont is probably the most professional looking one. And that's actually this one right here. I'm going to be doing my example with Mont because I love using it. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So the best way to do this is you'll just edit your layer style initially. And then from there, we'll cut it into different sections and then edit what it says. That way, we won't have to manually change the settings for each individual layer and word, which would just be so annoying. So let me just quickly show you guys how you can do this. So it obviously lets you change the font from the font family like i just showed you you can obviously change the color to whatever you want so like yellow red for me i'm just sticking with the basic white you can change the spacing of the letters to the tracking if you want to bring them closer together or just leave them at the default just bring it back to zero and you can also change the rotation for whatever reason i have no idea but you know that's that so the first effect that i highly recommend that you add to your text that's gonna be a black stroke uh it doesn't really matter what color you're using they're right here this is what the stroke looks like it kind of outlines the text if that makes sense i'd recommend anything from three to five i'm I'm going to be using three because i like it the best and then the next thing use a drop shadow negative four on the x highly recommend that that's probably all you really need and that's pretty much that in terms of the effects so from there what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the positioning so to do this you just go to the settings while having your title selected drag the y position down to wherever you want it or you could have it in the middle if you want i recommend having it at the bottom if you're talking because it won't block your face and from there we're actually going to switch to the blade tool by clicking on the blade right here and cutting up each of our section from there now what we're going to do is we're going to click on each individual segment and edit the word that it says for here it says and so we're going to change it to that and then now for this one right here this one says lastly this one says i'm and this one says gonna and now lastly i'm gonna be just that's pretty much how you can do super super basic subtitles but i'm gonna be showing you guys some effects that you can use to actually take it to the next level so if you want to do animations i'm gonna be quickly showing you guys how you do that so right click on any of these layers press new compound clip and press create from there once we do that we're not actually going to be able to edit what the text says so i highly recommend that you do that before you actually compound it go into your fusion tab and then what you're going to want to do is press Control space on your keyboard at the same time look up transform this is a very small layer and honestly after just checking with that to see the animation no, like, no, there's no, no, no point it looks really stupid so i'll show you guys a lastly, longer layer what it looks like so for lastly we're going to right click on it compound clip same thing i said you won't be able to edit the text go into your fusion and then we're
we're going to add a transform the same way we just added a transform to the other layer before I realized it was an absolutely horrible mistake. Click on transform, go to the very beginning. We're going to keyframe the center right here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do a movement kind of style. So on the first frame, we're going to bring it down. So it's out of the frame. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. We are going to bring this back to 0.5, which is the default default value. Sorry, 0.5. And then we'll go to the very last frame, bring it out of the frame again, and then go one, two, three, four, five frames back, change it back to 0.5. So throughout the entire thing right here, it's going to come up. It's going to say at 0.5, and then it's going to go down. Lastly, lastly, it's a bit fast, but you know, it can be improved through the spline graph editor, which I'm going to be showing you how to use. So just open up your spline right here. You can drag this out to make it bigger. Press this arrow thing right here, and we'll see your graph. Press control A, and then you're going to want to follow along with the things that I'm about to show you quickly. So you're going to want to make this look like something like this, where we bring these two over. Lastly, and then I'll have it drag up. And then these ones right here, we're gonna drag this one down. I'm gonna drag this one over. Lastly, lastly, that's all. That's all you really need to do for animation. Lastly, I'm gonna be super simple. You can do that from up, down, left to right, zoom in and out doesn't matter so now i'm going to decompose all of these just so i can quickly show you guys what a shake would look like on your text i'm going to select all of them this time right click press new compound clip and press create and then i'm going to go in here to the fusion tab i'm going to press Control space and look up camera shake press add drag it in just like this we're going to get rid of our spline because it's blocking it and then from there we're going to decrease the overall strength to like 0.5 and then change the speed to like 0 0.03 and now lastly i'm going to be and now and that's still a little too much more than I thought it would be, so we're gonna change the overall strength to even less. And now, lastly, I'm gonna be. And now, lastly, I'm gonna be. And Something now, like that looks great. I'm not gonna lie to you. And now, lastly, I'm gonna be. And now, lastly, I'm gonna be. And now, lastly, just a nice little shake here. And now, lastly, I'm gonna be. And you can individually adjust the settings to make it look the way that you want it to. But that's actually gonna do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the free presets in the description that were featured in this video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.